You're welcome back to The Gavel. Protesters flooded the National Assembly on Tuesday, July 3rd, demanding an end to constituency projects and accusing the National Assembly of padding the 2018 budget. The protest was held when the National Assembly resumed legislative proceedings after a three-week recess. However, the National Assembly has criticized the protest, maintaining that it is sponsored by some government officials. Protests rocked the National Assembly at the resumption of legislative proceeding after the recess. The protesters are accusing lawmakers of padding the 2018 budget and are also against the inclusion of constituency projects in the budget. They put the insert money into our budget. They call it padding. Padding is illegal to our constitution. One session, whether in the red chamber or in the green chamber, none of these chambers ever sat to take assessment of what they have been doing in the name of constituency project. But the lawmakers dismissed the agitations, alleging that government officials are behind the protests. It's now 2,000 naira per person to come and protest. And if you go to Garki, they are there in numbers. So what I'm saying is that they are only doing their job, earning their daily pay. They don't even know what constituency project is all about. Mr. President needs to investigate this and call to order. There's no secret in this. If you go out there, those boys will tell you where they're collecting the money from, the minister that has given them the money, the governor that has given them the money. And these are governors and ministers in the same ruling party. They also insist that constituency projects will not be discontinued. Everybody should be made to understand very clearly that constituency project does not put money in the pocket of any legislator. We don't even, in most cases, know the contractors who carry out this project. I challenge any person who believes that has been abused to come up with evidence of such. And I speak for the rest of our colleagues when I say that there are some places in this country that the only filler that belongs to this government, to this country, is the project that are attracted by members of the National Assembly as constituency projects. The protest is not entirely surprising considering the impasse between the National Assembly and the executive over the 2018 budget. Uh, instead of protesting outside, let our various constituencies now come identify themselves and say that uh, this, we are the people of, for example, Zamfara Central, and we are here to oppose constituency project as contained in the national budget because Senator Marafa is not executing it. Uh, like my colleague said, let Nigerians know that a certain amount of money is being uh, given in the budget as with a threshold for each senator to bring projects and uh, domicile the projects in the various ministries, departments or agencies that he feels his community must require. This cannot go anywhere. We're asking some, um, somebody, a protester, what does he what is he protesting about? What does he know about the constituency project? He said they told them that it's the money that gave National Assembly members to go home with. He said, you see, they, they even confuse and lie to Nigerians. So, Mr. President, this thing has to stop. Governance is not about blackmailing one arm of the government. We are here to represent the people. This constituency project, it should be on record, Mr. President, that this is the most federal character compliant project of government. This constituency project is the only project of government that is evenly distributed. The amount is equal. The projects are similar. Nobody is shortchanged. This is the only federal character in this country compliance. So why would somebody go against something as noble as this? President Buhari had accused the National Assembly of introducing new projects amounting to 578 billion naira into the budget. But the National Assembly kicked back, maintaining that the adjustments and reductions in the number of projects approved were made to address geopolitical imbalances that came with the executive proposal. 